This is Zach here with Isaac Neff, the winner of the men's elite race at Cross Shushko here today. So do you think that was the first time that someone went straight from the neutral support to winning a bike race? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. Yeah, not, not often that the neutral support guy does uh, actually races, but thanks to, uh, to Carl, he covered me today, so I was able to race. So did that give you an extra advantage out there, you know, having, being the neutral support, getting your machine dialed in, did that help you at all? Yeah, definitely. That was a huge advantage. I knew the ins and outs of the pit. So, uh, yeah, I, I don't think so much. I don't, I'm not thinking that that's the biggest, uh, biggest advantage out there, but. All right. So maybe it was your training. You came in, you looked pretty strong from about lap two. It was a big group party yep. for a lap. And then you, did you pull away? Did you do, you know, did you make a move or did you, it looked like you just kind of pulled away in um, a little bit. Well, I honestly, I mean, as we just mentioned, I was doing neutral support all morning. So I just wasn't hundred percent sure how I would feel. So figured the smart thing to do was uh, just try to get a solid start and then kind of see how the group, how fast they were riding. And um, uh, it was a, it was an okay pace at first. I, uh, Brian Fosler went to the front on the second lap and uh, I think he was going pretty hard, um, which was good because I was feeling pretty comfortable still. And um, just uh, made a pass at one point and just kind of tried to keep the power down and just to see what would happen and the gap pretty much opened up right away. So that was, that's good. So I was talking to someone, it seems like this was kind of, uh, it had some technical sections, but it looks kind of flowy. Was that a bit of an adjustment coming off your very strong mountain bike season that you've had? Um, that's a good question. I mean, I don't know, it's so different. Riding a cross bike is really different. Um, yeah, I mean, <laughs> this was a very fast race today. Um, it was pretty flowy, but it's also a super bumpy course, so it's very easy to get off your line very, you know, really easily. Um, so I think just trying to stay smooth and take really good lines out here today was, um, was important. So that's, that's, you know, style of the course for sure. Did your new Van Dezel help you with that on the bumpy sections? I'll tell you, it's, uh, it's just as good as last year's bike, if not a little bit better. So, uh, it's, it's an all new bike, new carbon layup, carbon bottom bracket. Um, I don't know, it was riding awfully nice today. Got some low profile Boyd wheels, uh, rode uh, Clement MXPs or Donnelly MXPs. Um, yeah, calm down there. Yeah, I, know, I need, <laughs> need to get my names right. So um, I've, my setup was great today, no problem. Uh, haven't gotten the pit bike built yet, been a little bit busy. So uh, luckily I didn't need two bikes today. So it was just the one. <laughs> And then finally, we had a Throwback Thursday video on Cyclocross Magazine with Mark McCormick starting 30 seconds behind to get good training in. Here Any chance that we might see that out of you? <laughs> I don't know if I want to take that risk. That seems like a pretty big advantage. I'm not sure I won by that much today, so that would be, uh, that would be kind of tough. So. All right, cool. Well, Isaac Neff, congratulations, and uh, we'll see you in some UCI races this next weekend. Uh, yeah, um, well, we've got uh, Schwam again next weekend. Uh, no jingle cross for me, and then uh, Trek, yeah, I'll be on the UCI race on Friday night. Cool, well, good luck on the, uh, the, the fat knobby tires, and we'll see you at Trek. Thanks.